So in this section we're going to learn how to make an alternate battle system and this will be something like the hero can walk around and if you hit return or space it will shoot the bullet in this direction or in this direction or in this direction. Always in a straight line. It shoots a bullet in a straight line and if an enemy is on this position where the bullet traveled or if it's on the way so if the bullet hits an enemy we will actually check it and decrease the amount of HP from this enemy and if it's below zero then it will be uh, counting as a death. So first thing we need to do is to set up our events. So this will be a coordinate coordinate event then we need one event for the bullet it can stay like that at first and we of course need an enemy Alright, it's we can oh also set this already up, so we need something evil like this guy. Okay, so now we need to set up our coordinates and we simply do that by changing this to a parallel process, set it to through, so no one will get annoyed by this block staying, this blank block staying around and that you can't pass. And now we need to define some variables. So we need, uh, first we need hero x and it's the x position of the player in this scene. So here we go. Hero x, we also need a uh, hero y. and set it to the player Y coordinate. Then we can copy those and we need two one X and one Y variable for the bullet. So we set the bullet X to the X position of the bullet event and here we set the bullet y co uh, variable to the y coordinate of the bullet on the map and now we also need variables from from the enemy to so we know where the enemy is standing so we need the x coordinate of the enemy and of course the y coordinate of the enemy so enemy y will be the enemy y position all right so now we got this now all all the information get transferred into variable so if the hero moves on the x on the x position so in this direction left to right it will always change up this variable to the actual position of the player and the y coordinate does the same only on the y position so up and down so it will always stay it will always um change with variables according to the position. Now we need to check if where the, where the player is facing. So uh -oh, oh, first first we need to check if if a button is pressed. So we need to check if OK is pressed down. Alright so we could simply do stuff like this um, so you can just 
try so you always save and um, look up if it's working like you intended to do so we just want something to happen if we hit return or space so we run around oh this is the wrong map I'm sorry we need to start here alright and now it should always display the message hello whenever I I run around and hit space so as it did so it says hello and if I click again okay so it does what it should that what it should do so okay this is already working so oh right now we check if the character and we need an else branch if it's not happening so if the player is facing down we simply show we set the movement root of the bullet to turn down we don't wait for a completion and we repeat the movement so, oh, we actually wait for competition. We don't need it. I don't know. We can actually see. Let's set for this. We can set the bullet to something more visible. So we we take an actor, and now the bullet has this character sprite and now we can see if the bullet is actually and we wait for completion so actually we we, sh we look up what the what the bullet is doing so we can we just want this for all directions so if if ok is pressed if player is facing down the bullet should move down so that means if you move down, you are facing down, so the bullet also should be traveling downwards. If this is not given, so if it's not facing down, we check if he is facing left. And if he's facing left, the bullet should turn to the left. All right. Now we need this for the other two directions, so if player is facing right, then it should turn to the right. And the last one will be if the player is facing up, we don't need another branch because we got all the cases. So if he's if he's facing up, we just set the bullet to turn up. All right. So now we got this, and this should already move this character here, which we choose as a placeholder for the bullet. And now. It should always, whenever we change the direction, it should change with us. Let's see if it's happening. So I turn to the right, nothing happens. I turn to the left, nothing happens. I turn up and down, nothing happens. The reason why this is happening is because I really don't know. So this is a bullet. Set to walking, direction, stepping. So this is not working. Why is, why is this not working? It's a parallel process. Hero X is player, hero Y player, hero X bullet. Map X and Y of the enemy. Actually it should be working. Set this to a parallel process, but it. Sh I 
I'm not sure why this isn't working. This should be working. Oh, I... I know. I made a mistake. Um, of course it's working, but only if I'm pressing the OK button, so it shouldn't be working when I only run around. So if I move to the right and hit enter, on, now you see it's changing its position accordingly to my direction. So it's changing the direction of itself. So OK, so we can leave this as an action button event and now we can move on so we see that this is this is already working working so we have no problems with that all right now we can set the bullet up we know that this is working indeed so I already have a bullet sprite and I want to set it to through and I want I want it to move one step forward and repeat this action and set it up to the highest and now the bullet is already moving so what we do now is we need to spawn the bullet on the player so how we can how can we do this? So whenever he is pressing OK, the bullet should appear, be, uh, or it should teleport to the position of the player and start moving from there on. So we see that if OK is pressed, this should be executed. This should be checked in which direction, and after this check, so at this point. After this check, we want to set the event location of the bullet to hero X and hero Y. So the bullet will automatically run to the right. Let's say the bullet starts at nil nil. nil. It runs to the right. If the enemy, if a, if a hero is on this position, he stops here, and when he moves down and checks where exactly the player is and starts to shoot from this direction. So, bullet gets spawned there, alright, so direction is retained. And now we can see if this is working. So the bullet will automatically move to the right at the beginning But this is just what we did to the bullet. So let's see if it spawns in our on our player and also moves to the right direction. So you see it on the top. So I'm to the right, I'm shooting, and it goes to the right. I'm top, it goes to the top. I'm to the left, it runs, it runs to the left. And if I push down, it runs down. So this is already a good setup so we can but uh, we can see the, sh the bullet is flying around and always in the right direction but one problem is that when I keep pushing the OK button or if I just hold it down the bullet always stops and will never reach its destination it will always restart from your position so we want to stop this and how do we do this so we simply can make this script not be ex so this shouldn't be executed when something is pressed so after this we can set something on like like a variable that indicates that it's shooting already so this shouldn't be executed again until 
until the shot is is over. So this is what we can do. So we set it on to shot on and this only happens if shot is on. And we want to we want nothing to happen. So if we shoot we can only shoot one time now in this case. And we also want this only to be turned on when so we all we want only to see the graphic if shot on is actually on. Now we can change save it and we can look up if it's working. So I should only have one one shot. So I run, run around, do my one shot, and that's it. But it's accordingly, it's in the right direction. So what we can do on this bullet here is to change it to a parallel process. Wait for like 40 frames and then turn shot on to off. So this this will mean that the bullet will have ta a time of 40 frames till this bullet gets turned off again and if if you remember if shot off is turned off again this will or happen again so we can shoot again after this time. So I hope it's working as intended. If not we will investigate. So let's see. We run around, we shoot. Okay, the sh shot is disappearing. So we can hold down our button so you will see it all works as intended. The bullet will disappear after a short period of time and this is what we did for now. It's spawning the bullet on your player, make the bullet run forward and in the next lecture, the next section we want to actually something to happen if the bullet shoots. So if I had, if I press now and the bullet hits the enemy, there should something happen.